السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته مع كل الوطن العربي والناس اللي اتفرج علينا النهارده هيكون معايا نيك ووكر البطل اللي كل الناس بتقول انه يقدر ينافس مع بيج رامي ويقدر يحط نفسه في التوب فايف مرتاح جدا خلينا نسال نيك ووكر عن احساسه وعن شعوره جوه اولمبيا نيك هاو ار يو ام جود ثانك يو فور اسكين هاو ار يو ايفريثينج از فاين نيك وات يو ار برينجينج ذيس يير فور 2020 2022 ويز مستر اولمبيا اند بيج رامي اند ذا توب فايف هاو يو فيل واتس ذا فايف اي فيل جريت ام اي ديفلي فيل مور confident going into this Mr. Olympia um, than I was last Mr. Olympia, even though it's going to be a much bigger competitive show. I feel like I've improved drastically since last year, and I expect to be higher than fifth this year. That's great. That's great. So the people are like pushing you so much with the stress, like you need to beat Rami, you need to compete with Rami. How do you deal with that? I just deal with it. You know, listen, Rami's a champ. Rami's a great champ. As long as I bring my best package and I look better from the previous year, it's a win-win for me. You know, Rami's going to be hard to beat, but I'm going to do everything I can to beat him. Well, that's that's great answer. So I want to ask you about the size because Rami is a very huge guy. So how we can beat that size from your perspective? Like how you think that you can beat that? So the thing for me is I I'm shorter than Rami, right? So I don't I shouldn't play the size game because it would just ruin my structure even more. So. For me, it's just improving the areas that I need to improve on and just come in as full as a house, as peeled and dry as possible. And hopefully, you know, he slips up and then I can move in. What about Bonac? I already beat Bonac. I'm not worried. Brandon? Listen, Brandon is a great competitor. He's Mr. Olympia. He's coming second the past two years. Um, but I feel like age is going to start catching up and then the young guns are going to slip up in there. And, and that means me. What about... Your vibes and uh, what happened today in the uh, press conference with uh, Blessings, did you say that he was too much? Yeah, Blessings a little much. I love Blessing. Good, good dear friend of mine, but he likes to take things a little too far. Um, but again, I don't pay attention to people that are going to be in a third call out. Oh, oh okay, okay. Uh, Andrew Jack? Andrew Jack's a great guy. On and off the stage, great personality. Um, I, I love Andrew. I think he's great. And I, I really hope he gets to at least top seven this year for sure. Okay, that's great. Yeah. That's great. That's great. So, for Hadi Schuppen, do you think you have big chance to beat him? Yeah, I mean, look, Hadi's a freak. He's the Persian Wolf. So, you know, he brings the freaky conditioning. He's got the size. He's got the density, the muscle maturity. And I think again, with the year that I had, the off season that I had, I'm developed that muscle maturity, that density, um, and I. I'm already bigger than Hadi, so I think if I match that conditioning with the size and the muscle maturity that I have, I think I can overtake him. Okay. I know that this question you're gonna say no for sure, but do you think that you are gonna change your coach at any moment, uh, Matt Johnson, or you're gonna keep going with him? I'm gonna keep going. Look, me, me and Matt are family. We're best friends. We had a little bit of a falling out. Things, you know, got said that shouldn't have said. Rumors got spread that shouldn't have gotten spread. Uh, but at the end of the day, that's my best friend, he's family, and we're going to ride this till the wheels falls off. Well, thank you so much for doing that with us. I really appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. Wish you the best. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you.